Hi boys and girls. Today for reading, we're going to be talking about character traits. So last week we talked about different parts of a story. We talked about the characters, we talked about the setting, and then we talked about the plot roller coaster, which is what happens in the story, the problem and the solution. Well, so today we're gonna get a little deeper with what, how can you describe a character, right? The person or the animal or the thing in the story, how can you describe them, okay? So I made this little poster to kind of help us a little bit. So here's a boy, right? And on this, let's talk about this side first. On this side, I'm talking about what he's like on the outside, okay? What he looks like when we look at him. What can we tell about him? We can describe somebody by how they look, right? Those are the physical traits, right? Or what we see. So we could talk about, okay, this, this boy or this character has brown hair. He has a blue shirt, a red belt, green pants, and you probably can't see this far down, but he's got brown boots, right? We could say he's a boy. He's kind of tall. He's kind of skinny, right? We could describe what he looks like, but that really isn't who he is. Like the way you look today is not who you are because you can cut your hair, you can dye it, you can change your outfit, but that's not who you are. So when we describe a character, we don't talk about what they look like. We're bigger kids now. We can talk more about who they are on the inside, okay? And that's what this is. So there's kind of a little lightning bolt coming down here to show you. On this side, I didn't color in the boy because I don't care about what he looks like. I just drew his little heart because I wanna know what he's like on the inside, okay? Not like, not like what his body is on the inside, but I mean like his feelings, his thoughts. What you think describes who you are on the inside. Are you a good person? Are you caring? Are you kind? Are you thoughtful? Are you creative? And those are kind of some big words. So sometimes it's hard for little kids to come up with ideas like we always say happy and sad, but we need to try to come up with with better ways. And we might need grown-ups to help us come up with those big words that describe the characters, okay? And we'll we'll talk about that a little bit. So we're talking about personality traits, right? Like here's the word words. Do you see how this is a thought bubble? So things the character thinks kind of show who he is on the inside and things he says. Like if you're a kid who, who calls people names and everything, then that's kind of not you're not being very good on the inside, right? Or maybe you're just making poor choices. But at that point, we would describe you as, as not being very kind, right? That's who you're being on the inside at that time. But if you hold the door open for people and you say please and thank, thank you, then you're being kind. So you are kind on the inside and we could describe you like that, okay? So today I'm gonna to read you a book and now I'm gonna scoot up a little bit since you don't need to see my anchor chart. This book is called Amazing Grace. And it's all about just this girl. She's the main character. And so we're gonna read the whole book and then we're gonna talk about who she is on the inside. And then you're gonna get a chance to look at a book on Epic that I pick for you. And you're gonna tell me about who that character is on the inside also. Okay, so you're gonna to get to practice what we do. So here we go. Amazing Grace. As I read, you think about how, how you would describe grace on the inside, okay? I'll wait a few pages before I tell you what I think. Grace was a girl who loved stories. She didn't mind if they were read to her or told to her or made up in her own head. She didn't care if, there were, if they were books or movies or out of Nana's long memory. Grace just loved books or stories. After she had heard them, and sometimes while they were still going on, Grace would act them out, and she always gave herself the most exciting part. Grace went into battle as Joan of Arc and wore a wicked, wove a wicked web as Anansi the spider. So right now she's pretending that she's characters in books. She's pretending, she's acting, she's playing. She hid inside the wooden horse at the gates of Troy. And she went exploring for lost kingdoms and she sailed the seven seas with a peg leg and a parrot. Now you can tell she's not really doing these things. She's pretending. Do you see how she's got her leg bent up and she's on a chair pretending she's on a ship? 
She was Hiawatha sitting by the shining big sea water and Mowgli in the backyard jungle. Okay, so, so far you can tell that Grace loves stories. Okay, that's kind of something she likes. That's not who she is. Um, but what does she do because she loves the stories? She acts them out, she plays. So we could describe her right now as being creative because she creates these costumes and these situations and she's playful because she's playing, okay? So if you need a grown up to help you come up with these big words, you could just say, well, she, she likes to play, she likes to make things. And then grown ups can help you give you those words like playful and creative. Most of all, Grace loved to act out adventure stories and fairy tales. And when there was no one else around, Grace played all the parts herself. She set out to seek her fortune with no comp companion but her trusty cat and found a city with streets paved in gold. Or she was Aladdin rubbing his magic lamp to make the genie appear. Sometimes she could get Ma and Nana to join in when they weren't too busy. Then she was Dr. Grace and their lives were in her hands. See how she's pretending? She's got a great imagination, doesn't she? One day, Grace's teacher said they would do the play Peter Pan. Grace knew who she wanted to be. And when she raised her hand, Raj said, you can't be Peter, that's a boy's name. But Grace kept her hand up. You can't be Peter Pan, whispered Natalie. He isn't black. But Grace kept her hand up. All right, said the teacher. Lots of you want to be Peter Pan, so we'll have auditions next week to choose parts. And she gave them the words to learn. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute. The kids in the book told Grace that she could not be Peter Pan because in the original Peter Pan, he is a little boy and he is white boy, but that's who he is on the outside. That's not who he is on the inside. And so Grace can be a character and just play who they are on the inside. They don't have to look the same. And she already knows that. So she's kind of brave and she's maybe not stubborn, but persistent. Like she won't give up. Okay, that persistence, another big word, but she's not giving up, right? She's not afraid to try things, even if they're different. When Grace got home, she seemed sad. What's the matter? Asked Ma. Raj said, I can't be Peter Pan because I'm a girl. Well, that just shows what Raj knows, said Ma. A girl can be Peter Pan if she wants to. Grace cheered up, and then later she remembered something else. Natalie says I can't be Peter Pan because I'm black, she said. Ma looked angry, but before she could speak, Nana said, it seems that Natalie is another one who don't know nothing. You can be anything you want, Grace, if you put your mind to it. <clears throat> On Saturday, Nana told Grace they were going out. In the afternoon, they caught a bus and train into town, and Nana took Grace to a grand theater. The sign outside read, Rosalie Wilkin, Wilkins in Romeo and Juliet, in sparkling lights. Are we going to the ballet, Nana? asked Grace. We are, honey, but first I want you to look at this picture. And Grace looked up and saw a beautiful young ballerina in a tutu. And above the dancer, it said, Stunning New Juliet. That one is, a, is little Rosalie from back home in Trinidad, said Nana. Her granny and me, we grew up together on the island. And she's always asking me, do I want tickets to see her Rosalie dance? So this time, I said yes. After the ballet, Grace played the part of Juliet dancing around her room in her imaginary tutu. I can be anything I want, she thought. So do you see how she's brave and confident? Those are other words that describe who Grace is on the inside, right? 
On Monday, the class met for auditions to choose who was the best for each part. And when it was Grace's turn to be Peter, she knew exactly what to do and all the words to say. She had been Peter Pan all weekend and she took a deep breath and imagined herself flying. Okay, I'm gonna stop just right here. If she had been practicing all weekend and she knew all the words to say, that's something she did, that's like her actions. That shows me that she's a hard worker also. That describes her on the inside, okay? So not just somebody's thoughts and what they say, but what they do can help you understand who they are on the inside. Okay, let's see. When it was time to vote, the class chose Raj to be Captain Hook and Natalie to be Wendy, and there was no doubt who would be Peter Pan. Everyone voted for Grace. You were fantastic, whispered Natalie. Oh, look how good she looks as Peter Pan. The play was a big success, and Grace was an amazing Peter Pan. After it was all over, she said, I feel as if I could fly all the way home. You probably could, said Ma. Yes, said Nana. If Grace put her mind to it, she can do anything she wants. Okay, so we could also describe right here, she's feeling proud. So that's who she is on the inside, right? And she kind of changed throughout the book. So at different times in the book, she, we could talk about different, like different aspects of who she is, okay? Not necessarily feelings like happy, sad, excited, but who she is, but we'll just do the best we can, okay? So I'm gonna give you a new book also, kind of like this one, and I want you to pick the main character and tell me who they are on the inside, okay? All right.